Today, polio in the wild is found only in two countries, in Afghanistan and also most likely Pakistan. The reason for this is terrain and conflict. The parts where citizens have not been vaccinated against polio and are susceptible to a circulating wild polio virus are in the jagged mountain ranges that are extremely inaccessible to public health authorities. These areas are also active conflict zones, often and occupied by unreasonable extremist forces, so there are no means of reaching them safely. These are the only two countries where polio is found in the wild in the world today because of a highly successful international vaccination campaign that went on for decades. We are this close to eradicating polio. But now, in the African country of Malawi, a four-year-old girl who lives near the capital city of Lilongwe has been infected by the type 1 of wild polio. This is Malawi's first case in over 30 years and was discovered last month. The entire continent of Africa had actually been declared free of wild polio in 2020. This case is most likely from the virus traveling from Afghanistan or Pakistan to Malawi. Now the country begins yet again its mass vaccination campaign against polio very urgently as it is still trying to recover from the devastation caused by both the pandemic as well as a tropical storm earlier this year. In this video, we'll see how Malawi and the countries around it in East Africa are scrambling to deal with this case of wild polio and why acting on this is extremely urgent, pandemic or not. I'm Sandhya Ramesh and this is Pure Science. Polio or poliomyelitis is an infectious disease that is caused by the polio virus and it affects the gut and the nervous system. It spreads by fecal oral transmission route, so infected feces ending up in food or water being consumed by unvaccinated people. Typical symptoms of polio include weak developments of muscles and limbs and could sometimes also extend to paralysis. A majority of people show no symptoms when infected. Some can show flu-like symptoms, some develop meningitis and encephalitis or inflammation of the brain. And then with about 5% or fewer cases, there is serious developmental issues and paralysis. The virus first infects the gut and then moves on to the tonsils and then spreads to lymph cells there, eventually entering the bloodstream and spreading everywhere in the body. In some people, it can affect the central nervous system and so the spine and the brain and it will then lead to motor problems and paralysis and even seizures. One in every 200 infected children become permanently paralyzed. There are three serotypes, three types or three strains of polio virus, types 1, 2 and 3. And vaccines are effective against all of them. Two types of vaccines are used all over the world today and multiple doses are required for both types for protection. One is an inactivated virus that is injected in three doses. Another is an oral polio vaccine or OPV. These are in the form of oral drops. They're great for storage, they don't require syringes and are very easy to administer to children. Once again, three doses are required, spaced out. And this is an attenuated or a weakened virus. With the oral polio vaccine, there is a very, very minute risk of the virus recombining in the host body and becoming infectious in what is called a genetic reversal. This happens over a period of a year and nothing happens to the person who got the vaccine, but they could shed the recombined virus in their feces and infect other unvaccinated children around. So there is vaccine derived polio and wild polio. Just to clarify, this is something that happens very specifically with polio vaccines. It doesn't really happen with other vaccines, definitely not with the coronavirus vaccine and it is extremely rare. Currently, except for this case, Africa is free of wild polio. There are vaccine-derived cases less than 500 or so, primarily in Nigeria. 
There are cases elsewhere too that are vaccine derived in Western Asia and Eastern Europe. There are a couple of vaccine derived cases in Israel, Yemen, Ukraine and so on. In Asia, there are a couple in Tajikistan and Afghanistan and Pakistan. But wild polio, the version of the virus that circulates in nature, is found only in Afghanistan as of March 2022. And now there is a case in Malawi. Even in Afghanistan, there are only four confirmed cases of wild polio currently, and Pakistan is not yet declared free of wild polio. The problem with the polio virus is that it is a silent but a deadly disease. Since most people, especially most kids, don't show symptoms, it can spread silently. Suddenly, it will show up as severe symptoms in one child one day. When we talk about polio transmission, we typically talk about transmission among kids because globally, a majority of the adults in the world today are vaccinated against polio. To tackle the spread of polio now in Malawi, the neighboring countries of Tanzania, Mozambique and Zambia in this East African region will join Malawi in resuming a quick mass vaccination campaign against polio. These will begin in May and June of this year and Zimbabwe is expected to join later, possibly also the Democratic Republic of Congo. Firstly though, interestingly, the healthcare workers here need to be familiarized with polio and identifying a case as being polio because many have actually never seen a case in real life. This is how successful mass vaccination campaigns have been since they began in the 70s and 80s. Many conditions can cause paralysis, so the workers need to identify which one is polio. In Malawi, authorities have attempted to trace contacts and travel history with this case, but no connection with Pakistan was found. Typically, they look for travel to Pakistan because of ease of travel. Not many people are flying from Afghanistan directly. But there was no travel history that was connected to Pakistan or Afghanistan with anyone nearby, which means that the virus had been circulating in Malawi for a while. Historically, vaccination rates in this country have been over 90% for polio, and historically, they have been extremely high in most countries around the world. But now, because of the pandemic, Malawi's polio vaccination rate has dropped to less than 80%, and the country is now also still recovering from the destruction brought about by the tropical storm Anna earlier this year. The response to this case and the mass vaccination campaigns are being coordinated by the WHO, UNICEF, Rotary International, the US CDC, as well as the Gates Foundation. These were the same players in the highly successful Global Polio Eradication Initiative, which was set up in 1988. This was the largest international public health initiative in human history. Today, polio is still very much in line to become the second disease to be completely eradicated in humans through the use of vaccines after smallpox. We are just one step away from achieving this with a record low of global cases. And what is happening right now with polio cases are the last stumbles we see before humanity bids goodbye forever to this nasty and crippling disease, thanks to the miracle of vaccines.